Okay, so real quick before I start this video, I just want to say that if I had known that the first video on my channel would get over 300,000 views, I definitely would have put in a little bit more effort to say the least. Uh, well, uh, uh, um, 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 like, um, and, um, uh, uh, and, um, so yeah. Also, so many people were talking about how I stretched the video out to 10 minutes to gain more ad revenue, even though at the time I didn't meet YouTube's requirements to monetize my videos. But hey, soon I might meet those requirements, and then I'll be able to earn 5 to 10 cents on each of my videos. I mean, I did all the math, and that equates to around 160 cornflakes, so all in all, not bad. And if you didn't watch my previous video, and you have no idea why I'm talking about cornflakes in the video about leveling up on Steam, well, I mean, your loss. Alright, so let's get into the video. If you've been on Steam long enough, you should know that a higher level makes all the difference. Benefits include having a larger friends list, having more showcases to show off your super rare items, appearing higher on other people's friends lists, and generally just having a more reputable Steam profile. The way you level up on Steam is by crafting badges. Badges are crafted using trading cards that can be dropped by playing games, obtained by crafting booster packs, or simply bought on the community market. Badges give you 100 experience each, meaning buying more expensive cards will not reward you with a higher amount of experience. The amount of experience needed to level up increases in intervals of 10, meaning you will need 1000 experience in order to go from 0 to 10, 2000 to go from 10 to 20, and so on. The fastest and easiest way of obtaining these trading cards is simply buying them on the community market. Websites such as Steam Tools can help you find the cheapest card sets. Nowadays, the cheapest generally go for around 28 cents per badge, meaning 100 experience. Using this method, you will be able to reach level 10 with only $2.80. If you don't have money to spend on card sets, you can use this second method. Keep in mind that if your account is relatively new, you won't have the necessary items to do this. Go into your Steam inventory and search for emoticons and wallpapers. These item types will generally give you the most amount of gems, especially if they are from specific Steam events like this one. After you have a decent amount of gems, you will want to either turn them into sacks of gems and sell them on the community market, or directly trade them with a card bot. Keep in mind that this method will only bring you so far. Gems are hard to acquire, so unless you have thousands of items in your inventory to turn into gems, you won't have enough to get to the higher levels. The most efficient way of leveling up is by far trading in CSGO or TF2 keys for card sets. You can buy these on the Steam community market. If you use this method, make sure you don't buy them in-game since they won't be tradable. When you're ready to trade in your keys for levels, contact a card bot. I'm going to use Kalazar's card bot. The link to it will be in the description. Click on send a message to get started. Type exclamation point help to get a list of available commands. Type exclamation point level followed by your desired level to see how many keys it will take to get to that level. Type exclamation point keys to see a list of accepted keys. Most keys will be accepted, however some keys with unstable prices are not listed. I've received several keys from Kalazar in order to demonstrate the process of using the card bot to you. For this demonstration, I will be leveling up to 100. Since I want to level up to 100, I have to type exclamation point level 100 to see how many keys I need. Since I'm using TF2 keys, I need to trade in 36 of them. To receive the trade offer, type exclamation point by TF 36. Go to trade offers and click on the one you received from the car bot. Click on respond to offer and accept the trade. You will most likely need to download the Steam Mobile Authenticator on your phone since this is a fairly large trade. Doing this is quite simple. Just go to the Google Play Store or App Store and download the Authenticator app. Sign in and connect to your Steam account. After accepting the trade, you will receive the card sets you purchased. Keep in mind that if the trade is relatively large, it might take a couple minutes to go through. After you have received your trading cards, go into Badges in order to get your experience. If you have enough cards for a full set, it will appear at the top. To craft a badge and receive the experience, click on Ready and on Craft Badge. If you have enough cards for multiple badges, you can craft multiple badges at once. Right now, I'm just going to craft a singular badge.
For every badge you craft, you receive 100 experience, a random background, a random emoticon, and a coupon for a random game. Since I have so many badges to craft, I'm going to do it in form of a time lapse. Thanks for watching, guys! If you want to see an in depth tutorial on how to customize your leveled up profile, let me know in the comments. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in nearly two years at this point in time. During quarantine, I'll probably be uploading a couple more videos, so stay subscribed for that if you're interested. If you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a little thumbs up. If you didn't, then smash the dislike button harder than the COVID-19 smashed the economy. Stay safe, eat your cornflakes, and I will see you in the next video. Mm, that's good. That's really good.